Okay, okay, okay. Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of the Gaming News, where I run down the list of all the gaming news, facts, rumors, trivia, and everything coming out of the gaming industry this week. And this week, I want to talk about the Legend of Zelda, or the Legends of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Now, for this, I'm going to actually pull out one of my videos from the past and pull out some uh one of my videos from the legend of zelda twilight princess so hope you guys enjoyed the enjoy the gameplay but also enjoy what i have to say anyway this is coming from uh uber.com or dot org sorry my bad and this is written by david falkenflick and james perkins masterino matt Mastro Marino, sorry, my bad. I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't defend anybody by doing this. But this it says an upcoming Legends of Zelda game, the titular princess takes center stage for the very first time. Well, ever since the uh, Zelda: The Wand of Gamelon. But yeah, in general. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Uh, for the first time in nearly forty years, Princess Zelda is starring in the blockbuster video game series that bears her name. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom comes out September 26th. Nintendo just dropped a surprise trailer for the game that's already spawned numerous commentary videos and speculative articles. I was shocked, says Polygon Deputy Dutton Games Editor Matty Mayers. One of my reporters insisted to me that this game was in development, and I just didn't believe him. Our skepticism was well-founded, series producer... A.G. and Numa had long prioritized Link, the game's traditional green-clad hero, and in twenty in a 2016 interview, he asked uh, GameSpot if we have Princess Zelda as the main character who fights, then what is Link going to do? Onuma has evidently changed his mind. After a mysterious purple rift consumes Link, Zelda's quest to save Hyrule invo involves less sword fighting and more puzzle solving and creature collecting. The new gameplay continues the franchise's penchant for reinvention. Its most recent titles, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, took innovative, innovative swings that won record acclaim in sales. But while Zelda has taken on many pivotal roles over the decades, she's never served as a game's main playable character. She is usually the princess that the player saves, says Myers, but now she gets to take on an action role and solve problems. Yeah, that's yeah, that's kind of right. Zelda is not the only leading lady that Nintendo's re recently elevated. The company just announced Metroid Prime Four Beyond, a long-awaited game starring Sar starring Samus Aran, a space-faring bounty hunter who appeared. And first appeared in 1986. Earlier this year, Princess Peach headlined her own game, the Super Mario Bros. movie. She featured in Made Over a Billion Dollars. Yes, sir. I played um certain Princess Peach Showtime over on my channel. I uh, I think finally Nintendo is realizing that this has frustrated players for a long time, says Myers. But as somebody who's been covering games for a very long time and playing them since I was a kid... I'm really delighted that kids these days get to grow up in a world where it's totally normal to get to the point to point to the pink princess on screen and say, I want to play her and actually get to do that. And I totally, totally agree. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me just say this off -rip. This is only a net positive. In all honesty, everyone has been clamoring to play a Zelda. I'm sorry, but Zelda, the only like main place you can play, you could have played Zelda before this was Super Smash. She was never really the face of the Legend of Zelda series, even though it bears her title. It bears her name, and it's wild that we get to have a game that gives us the chance to play as the princess herself. Not just play as Link, but play as Zelda. Zelda has been a pivotal part 
of this game for ages now. And her only main hand, I'm sorry, it's not even canon. Let's let's face it, it's not canon. Um, but the only game that you can play as Zelda herself in the series that has her name, The Legend of Zelda, is The Wand of Gamelon. And nobody, and I repeat, nobody wanted that game. Wanda Gamelon was not it. She deserved better. And this, I believe, gives her, like, just the spotlight that she needs. Now, yes, it's an, it's chibi style, like, more reminiscent of Legend of Zelda, uh, not Wind Waker. God damn it. <laughs> I'm thinking of, like, uh, Link's Awakening. Which is more, which is more the chibi style, I as I've seen, and which that is personally a okay. This is more looking like uh the uh the remaster of Link's Awakening for I believe the Switch or Wii U. My bad, I'm not very sure which one. I'm not the biggest Legend of Zelda player. But I can say this without a shadow of a doubt. If this goes as well as we think it's going to go, and this goes just as good, we could be getting, we could get eventually a Legend of Zelda game 3D, like Twilight Princess, as you're seeing on screen, or, you know, Breath of the Wild that stars Zelda. And. That would be pretty fucking dope too. But I I'm not gonna count my chickens before it hatches. I really just want to see how this game progresses. And I would absolutely love the chance to play The Legend of Zelda, uh Echoes of Wisdom with very soon. I I do want to see what goes on. And I really hope and I really want to see how they you know, reverse the roles of Zelda and Link. Like, how does that all pan out? Because I have played Princess Peach Showtime over on my personal YouTube channel, and it was fucking amazing. I loved the game. I was so fucking excited to play the game, and I've had so many amazing moments with Princess Peach Showtime. And if, if Nintendo is going to be treating Zelda the same way as they're treating Princess Peach at the moment. Ooh. And come on, a new Metroid game as well? Nintendo, right now you're spoiling us. I mean, we still have a beef, but come on now. We still have a beef, but you're spoiling us. You're you're giving us some good shit. Don't. Let's let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> Give me a Princess Daisy game. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, but that's just me. In general, ladies and gentlemen, what I can say is this is just an epilogue. I can honestly say without a shadow of a doubt that this is exactly what we need. And I think that it's it's something that the Legend of Zelda games need. That I don't think that it just needs to be Link. And I don't think that it just needs to focus on our green clad hero. That sometimes it's better to focus on the characters that help Link rather than just look at Link himself. Like, we love Link. We love him as a character. but. I think that this is a bright and fresh breath of air in a series that is, to be honest, not as ideal in this main world that we have that is just, we want to see it reinvented. We want to see where else it can go, the more stories it can tell, but 
I think that we're all burnt out of the regular gameplay, and I think that's what Nintendo is seeing. That we want to see what, you know, Princess Zelda can do once she's pushed into the limelight. Princess Peach has shown that she can that she can stand head of heels without Mario in fucking sight. And no, in Princess Peach Showtime, Mario's not seen fucking once. Luigi's not seen once. Bowser's not seen once. Nothing. The only other like regular Mushroom Kingdom resident that you see in Princess Peach Showtime is Toad. And that's it. Which is which is amazing. I played start to finish. There is no sign of the Mario Brothers. And to be honest, it was still an amazing game that deserves all the damn praise in the world for it. And I'm actually glad that they're doing something like this. Keep it up. Please keep it up. Because... Princess Peach Showtime was a fucking miracle on fucking in a disc. Now, I would love, love for Zelda to get the same treatment. And maybe very soon, if all things go as need be, maybe we'll get more spin-off games. Maybe that this is not Zelda's last outing as the hero. Maybe that this can be the start of Zelda's own spin-off series, where Zelda is the titular hero and not Link. Like, of course, they're going to go back to Link being the hero, which is, of course, that's going to be a thing. But I'm hoping, at least personally for me, I don't know about all of you, but me, I'm personally wanting Zelda to have her own set of canonical spin-offs where Zelda is her own hero. That we don't just need her to be in peril consistently to save her. And, yeah, in general, I think that she still has that role to fill in, you know, in Link's story. It's it's going to be that. There's going to be another reincarnation of our hero. But... With every reincarnation, I think that there should be a place for Zelda to have her time in the sun. That she shouldn't just be, oh, save me, even though she is ten times as powerful as Link. It's just, that's just me. And like I said before, these women are not in any bad shape. Princess Peach has always been something different. Like, I would love to see a game where I get to play as Daisy or Rosalina instead of just Mario. And I think that with the... If this is as successful as Princess Peach Showtime, then I think that we'll start seeing, you know, the princesses getting their own shit that's different from their male their male heroes. Like we would be getting a series that spins off from Mario and exper and explores new worlds with Princess Peach. We did not need just need Super Princess Peach. Princess Peach Showtime was that game. I have never been more fucking excited to jump around as uh, as Princess Peach. Even though I adore her. It's great. So, Nintendo, I'm hoping that this is where I'm thinking it's going. I really do. Because I would love to play more of the princesses and your canonical games. So, I would love to see what this game has to offer. I will be checking it out as much as anyone else is. So, I'm going to be keeping my eyes on Echoes of Wisdom. And I hope to God it's as good as I think it's going to be. But... I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys. If you guys have not yet, go down in the description down below to all of our lovely and beautiful content creators. Go check them all out. They're a lovely bunch of coconuts, and I can guarantee you that if you guys like my stuff, you guys are going to like theirs. So go check them out. And while you're at it, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do something like this every single day, so there's no reason why you should not be clicking. Anyway, without further ado, thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you guys in the very next episode. And until then, I'll see you guys next week for another episode of the Gaming News. But until then, peace. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.